everyone. I am back with Sagittarius reading now. We're going to do Sagi's reading, and this is going to go from 824 down through August 31st. This is an intuitive tarot reading, okay? So um, let's see what's happening for the zodiac sign Sagittarius. We're going to shuffle these cards five times. I'm going to try to get to Aquarius because that would be my sixth zodiac sign, okay? So what's going on for Sagittarius this week? We're going to shuffle these cards five times. We're going to see what's the energy for the zodiac sign Sagittarius with the tarot cards. We are so grateful for the messages. We are so grateful for the energy, uh, for the information that we're getting from God, universe, the angels, our ancestors, and all spiritual beings of light and guides, right? So what's happening for Sagittarius? What is the energy around Sagittarius? We're going to shuffle two more times, and then we're going to start your reading, Sagittarius, and see what's coming up for you. What is coming up for Sagittarius? What is coming up for the zodiac sign, Sagittarius? Let's see what the energies are for Sagittarius this week. Show me the cards I need to see. We are so grateful. Ooh, we got the page of pentacles in the upright. Ooh, stability, new, something, an offer coming in for you, Sagittarius. Something coming in when it comes to money, finances, stability, okay? Could be that you're working on your stability. Could be that you're working on stability, emotional stability, okay? Because pentacles are earthly. They can be emotional stability. They could be stability with things that you're going through in your life, or stability with your own emotions, or stability with your finances, right? So let's see what else is happening here for Sagittarius. What else? We see the Page of Pentacles. Some offer coming in, some situation, or maybe you giving an offer to someone else. There's something here happening for you, Sagittarius, with the Page of Pentacles. Maybe you're really focused on your money and your abundance, okay? We also got the Empress in the upright. You could be focused on a mother figure. You could be focused on a female who is... Probably someone you're cohabiting with or someone that you are married to. Someone that you feel that there's a lot of growth with. Or it could be emperors and empresses signify um, companies also, right? So there could be a company that you're working on or a company or a situation with a business or a company that you're getting an offer from or more money, okay? More stability coming in, yeah. And it's going to bring a balance. It's going to bring justice. Uh, if there's something that you felt like wasn't working out your way, I feel like it's going to balance out your way, whether it be with a person or a situation, or you're going to feel more balanced, more growth in the situation you're in when it comes to a company, when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your money. Um, there is some offer coming in here, and you're going to feel like things are balancing themselves out now. Maybe you were going through a difficult period where you didn't see much growth recently, but now there is this period now coming in now that Mercury's getting out of retrograde, right? And you're feeling like growth is there. There's a potential for growth. There's a potential for connectivity. There's a potential for increasing your finances and bringing in stability. What else is here for Sagittarius? What else is here for the zodiac sign Sagittarius, please? Yeah, okay, so we have the Four of Swords here, pulling back your energy, pulling back yourself, looking at things carefully, Giving yourself a needed break, especially if it's something that you need to decide or something that, that's coming towards you, that there's a decision you need to make in order in, 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 in regards to a commitment, maybe even a company, maybe even a new proposal that's being directed your way. You need to make a decision if you want to go through with this, okay? So there is some information coming in because we see the Knight of Swords above your head there, okay? So um, it has to do with your coins. Oh my God, we got the Nine of Coins. It has to do with your money, your finances, your stability. You can be dealing with a company. You could be dealing with an enterprise. You can be dealing with a business. You could be dealing with something you're investing on too because there's the tree. The tree is about growth, I heard, okay? So there's something here in regards to investments or a proposal coming towards you that's going to help you build your finances. It's going to help you create more money, more abundance. It's going to help you save and have money there in the bank instead of wasting it all, okay? Also, be, uh, you know, be kind of like careful when you spend money, you know? Know how much you're spending and what you're spending on so that you can feel balanced and that you don't create negative, uh, so that you don't create um a negative statement in your ba in your bank account too <laughs> but so that you don't create an imbalance in your funds right just be careful on how and what you're putting your time in and what you're spending on there is a new proposal coming towards your way it's going to help you grow whether it be in a company business or 
an enterprise. There's something here that's going to bring balance. There's justice. You feel like this is going to be balancing your energies out. I do feel you needing to make a decision about something or an information you get could be due to this proposal. Um, there's definitely the nine of coins feeling, you know, stable or getting money to feel stable, feeling that stability growing, feeling your finances making an improvement now. Maybe there was some stagnancy, but there is also telling you to be careful on what you're spending on and be careful on what you're investing on. Make sure it is something that you want to continue and make sure that something it is something that's going to bring you growth, okay? What is here? For, what else is here for Sagittarius? Please show us two more cards for the Zodiac sign Sagittarius, and then we will be closing. It show three cards, okay? So we got three cards in the upright face up, okay? So we got the devil. Yeah, so be careful with making poor choices. Be careful with addictions. Maybe, you know, spending your money. Maybe uh, lottery. Maybe gambling. Be careful with those things because if you have a problem with this, it's going to cause a, a decrease in your finances. And you don't want that. Especially with a new proposal coming your way and new money coming your way. You want to make sure you invest this money in the right way, okay? Be careful with things that you're addicted to. Or, or situations or maybe even a commitment that you're addicted to that's keeping you spending money or, you know, relationship. You don't want to be spending, overspending just to make someone feel beautiful or feel connected to you, okay? Whatever it is, you want to be, you know, frugal is the word. You want to be frugal. You want to balance your energies out. You want to have respect for money, right? Because money deserves respect. Um, and, and that increases your chances of attracting more abundance, right? When you respect it, when you know what you're investing on, when you know what you're going to give it for, you're not just wasting it away, you're not wasting it into your addictions or to commitments that are going to leave you empty-handed, right? You don't want to do that. You want to make the right investments. You want to make balance your energies out. You want to bring stability. You want to work on your finances. And I see an increase here, okay? I see you getting a wish fulfillment, healing, balancing out of your energies, if there was something that you felt stuck in or someone that you felt like you were giving too much of your time and effort to, there's going to be a balancing out, okay? There's going to be an offer coming in. There's going to be a situ situation rectifying itself. There's going to be your finances getting better. And I see the four of wands. I see happiness and healing in the home, in the family, in your own stability, okay? Healing it. Uh, but you need to break free from addictions, that are going to cause problems with your money. Okay, so that is the message I'm getting for you, Sagittarius. Have a wonderful week. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.